you kidding me? Good start for Fear. You can just see a long stride right out of it and slightly ahead. And, and you know that Isaiah Thomas knows what Blake Fear wow. can do. The Flyboy has got to be on his game. Isaiah Thomas has really picked up his pace. He is just behind Blake Fero, keeping the pressure on him. Whoa! Fero stumbles! I'm in complete shock! But suck. keep in mind, it is not over. Here we go. This is it, Matt. They're both in it to win it. Good start for Daniel. All right, but Legacy Lindsay's just a step behind. Oh, nice. He just skipped the card from that completely. Here is where he flew, and he did it again. Gave himself about a half obstacle lead over Lindsay and pulled it away. And Matt Daniel is making big separation. But this is where Lindsay has a five-inch height advantage. Can she use her reach and be more efficient here? Don't look here? back. You got to go. Who's going to go first? With the one touch dismount. One slightly ahead. Lindsay oh, stumbles. Lindsay says, keep going. Oh. Lindsay stumbled. Daniel Woods does oh. it. And he continues to win. Comes out of the wild card bracket. Lindsay Zimmerman, a phenomenal race, comes up just short. Wow. So it's win or go home. And look at this, Rebecca, a slight edge. Rebecca got speed now. Oh, the no, is down. No. James just has to complete it, and he does it. He's moving on. Oh, Rebecca. You know, we've got to take a closer look at that one. This was a rare misstep for her. Rebecca had the lead heading into Little Dipper, but as you can see, when she adjusted her grip, she moved the bar off track completely. It's a race to the grand finale, and Charlie's in front right out the gate. Look at Charlie Ball balling out, rolling Woo! from the start. Yeah, you got to be mistake-free. This is to get to the finals. You want it? You got to show it. Oh, he was so fast, he slipped. What? Are you kidding me? Unstoppable. Charlie is stopped on the spider wall, oh. and Nathaniel takes the win. Well, a heartbreaking loss for Charlie. Let's take a look at how he went down. Charlie was charging through the spider walls, but if you go too fast on this one, you risk losing traction with your hands and feet. And that's exactly what took Charlie out. Okay, here we go. Jordan Carr, she's on it, Matt. They both on it. And you can see, watch here, going under the cargo net, and real smooth for Jack David. Matt, they're essentially neck and neck. Time to separate. Jordan can do it here on the double tilt ladders. Both selling out, and, and look Jordan, at first one off. Looking like Air Jordan. Oh, no. she stumbled. Oh, she had the mean lean. The pace caught up to Jordan Carr. Jack David is moving on to the finals. Up the warp wall and gets his buzzer. Every second counts at this stage, so they'll need a good start and an even faster finish. Reader right into Little Dipper, no hesitation at all. Looking as smooth as ever. Aw, uh -huh. a little slip from Reader and a nice recovery. But Caden a little smoother through spider walls. But look at Reader, oh, almost lost his balance. All right, this is it. It's coming down to Flying Squirrel. It's going to be this dismount. Who can be smoother on that red bar? It's all about momentum. Reader so fast. He's got so much. Oh! Ooh, Caden Forche in the water. Good start for Abby McGuire. And here comes McRitchie. All right, Matt, this is where it gets interesting. You've got to make sure you're efficient on the Little Dipper. Ella hey, ooh, that leg caught up. Abby can make up some ground right here. Wow. But Ella, look at her climbing skills, arm over arm. McRitchie's so strong, but McGuire trying to keep pace. Yeah, Ella, Matt, she was strong last year. She's continuing the pace. But Abby's caught up. They are neck and neck. The Shamrock Ninja is going to need a little luck to pass Ella. Oh, quick move. Ella off first, charging to the buzzer. Oh, but she misses the warped wall. Here and now, comes Abby. And now Abby can get in here. And she's got it. This is it. No time to play around. It's race to the quarterfinal. Ooh, a stumble oh. out of Vincent. And in a race like this, even the smallest mistake can be costly. Oh, we've got that now. Vincent a little caught up in the cargo net. Both these ninjas chasing the winning buzzer. Their determination is in the air. I can feel it. Here comes Vincent. Really gaining on Owen and both flying into the flying squirrel. Vincent needing an extra swing there. Nice. It's going to be about this distance. Now you can see Fom stealing a glitch. Here we go. Look at this. Wow. Owen off first. Oh. Oh. Vincent comes up short of the distance.
this mound. Well, it's time to shake and bake. And you can see it, Caleb Brown, 5'7", has a four-inch height advantage. Just a little smoother here early on. All right, shake it, don't break it. Josh, a little shaky. Both of them really selling out on the crazy cliffhanger. Uh, Hours struggling a little bit on the crazy cliffhanger, and Caleb's out front, Matt. And here comes Hours. Oh, Hours making an aggressive move. A lot of room to make up time here on Skyhooks. They're even, and Hours pulling down. No! And he airballed on the ring. Okay, you gotta sprint out like you're sprinting the recess. And a strong start for Kayla. All right, Matt, this is it, the Little Dipper. You learned about this in science class. Oh, take down! A shocking exit for Peyton Miner, and Kayla Gerson wins in the knockout round. The Afro Ninja ready to Ooh. roll. And both these ninjas exploding oh, out of the boy. start. A close one by Luke. Melvin a little low on the rope. All right, settle down now, find your rhythm. Wow, Luke skipped the net. Look at him go on the ladders. Oh, he's he's treating this like it's the monkey bars at school. Oh, looks one hand slipped. And that opens the door for Naxa, and he's first off. Now here it is, Matt. This is all about flying. Who can get that rhythm? They are neck and neck on the wing nuts. Who will dismount first? Naxa Garibos gets the win. Let's take a look at what just happened to Luke. Luke was on the last wing net trying to keep pace. He went big for the one-touch dismount, but landed on the edge of the platform, sending him backwards into the H2O. They're about to make it do what it do. Oh, boy. You can see Lebsack has a three-inch height advantage. Matt, this race comes down to execution. That's what it comes down to. You got to be the excellence of wow. execution. Flying right through the Whoa, I just did execute. And Whoa, first time in his career. I can't Will believe it. The alive. streak is over. Kevin Lebsack is going to the championship wow. race. Nice. Kai knew Caden was out in front and rushed the third cliffhanger. Kai never got a good grip. First his right hand slips, then his left hand, and the Mohawk Ninja went down. Settling on the course, the two speed demons. Well, Matt Sargent's gonna have to earn his rank going up against the veteran, Reader Smith. You got it, guys. Reader last year learned the hard way. You go fast, Woo! someone can go faster. So Reader looking to keep the pedal on the metal. These two really flying. Good job, boys, here we go. Matt, they're going back and forth. The Energizer Bunny against Reader Smith, the veteran. They are going now. It comes down to efficiency on the flying scroll, particularly on that final bar. Good job. Reader, a slight edge as a climber. What can uh -oh. he do here? Already He's got to go. Sarge has got to go. And Reader Smith tackling the war guard. He's going to do it. Sarge gets his feet in the water. Reader gets the buzzer. Yeah. Here comes Sarge looking to get a war guard with wet shoes. Oh. And you can just see it. Once those shoes get wet, so hard to get traction. And look at that Najee Richardson there to cheer him up. It's got to mean everything to these kids to have their hero be the ones to pick them up when they fall. Watch full episodes of American Ninja Warrior Jr. now streaming on Peacock.